Welcome back to another episode of Coco Caliente, where we... A mother-daughter production, where we we talk about... (laughs) Everything and nothing. All at the same time. (laughs) I feel like that was a different intro. I don't know what what was going on. Yeah, usually you just say most of it, but looked like you needed my help today. Yeah, I did. Had a busy day today, huh? Yeah, I cleaned out my office. I went and got my nails done for the first time since my wedding, as far as acrylic goes. Um, Because when I get my nails painted, even with gel or shellac, it only lasts two days. Same with my mom. I think we just do too many dishes and we're hard on our hands or something. We cook a lot. What do you think it is? I don't know. But yeah, if if I need to... The only time I only get my nails done, I only get shellac like about four, three, four times a year. And when I do, it's right before like Mm -hmm. something big like a wedding or... Vacation. Something, yeah, definitely vacations, but then other big events maybe that we have. But if I don't just wait till two days before, I already have a nail half off and it's not supposed to it's come off. It's frustrating because you... Yeah, because it's expensive. not cheap. Yeah. Yeah, because I got them done for Christmas and then two days later, I was already missing one. And I don't know if any of you guys use those. I mean, I ordered one from Amazon, but they're the gel. Um, they come with the gel polishes and then you put your hand under the dryer. And I had gotten one for... Um, Nicole first, and then I also bought one for Jesse's girlfriend, Ashley, and I bought one for my sister, Tiffany, and they, Tiffany and Ashley are pros at it already. Like both oh, of Ashley them had, does, and that's what Ashley uses? At Christmas, they both had, their nails were perfect, both of them, and mm-hmm. they just use it over and over, but every time me and Nicole, well, every time I've tried to use it, it makes a big mess on my fingers. Well, are you any it, better? And it, hurt, and it, for some reason, it hurts my nails. It only, I think, burns as if, if you get it off no, of your fingernail, my right? Na- my nails' beds burn. Well, you need to talk to Ashley and Tiff because I said that their nails both looked really nice at Christmas and both of them just, they said, we use that thing you got us. I said, you did? And I grabbed both their hands and like examined them to see like flaws mm-hmm. or anything and nothing. They would look just like the, just like mine look when I first come out of the yeah. shop from getting my nails done. Tiff and I was is like, really good. I'll have to look at, I noticed Ashley's nails always look nice, but I guess I thought she got them done. So no, it's she, a really good way to save money. So maybe practice. It's probably one of those things. Tiffany told me it took her a while. She did it. She does it to her daughter who is seventeen. She does her nails quite a bit, and she said um, it took her a while. But patience. I think me and Nicole actually should try. Well, now you're going to start. I can. I'm going to keep up with this because I like. I don't know. I think it's so cool. But I can start doing. I'd love to play salon and do yours. You can. Yeah, you can do mine. Because and I I'll just, start practicing some designs and stuff like hearts and lines and just go from there. Yeah, Nicole has some. Pre- Pretty is sporting some very pretty Valentine nails today. You'll have to take a picture and put them on there. Yeah, yeah. They're pink and um, pink and red. Pink and red with hearts. They look really, really good. But those are like, she gave you a part of a fake nail too, or them all your nails. Yeah. So just like the very tip is not my nail, but eventually it will be my whole entire nail because it'll grow out. But and I think that the length is really good. It's not super long. It looks natural. Oh, just, I'm looking at that new ring you got for Christmas, and you t- tell you want to tell them about the prank you guys played. <laughs> um, so okay, Dad went, went to go take Mom's ring in. I'll tell you the backstory too. We went to the local jeweler, and Mom's wedding ring is really cool looking. I tell her that all the time for it being how many years old? Thirty five. 35, it's got that cool vintage vibe. I've never seen a ring like it or similar. Um, but it has a lot of like little diamonds and then one bigger diamond in the middle. And she loses, you lose quite a bit of diamonds. I lose a diamond every year. And like it seems it's always around Christmas time. Like I'll notice it like right before then. It seems like this time of the year. And my husband takes, then he'll, I don't like to tell him if I'm losing one because I like to wear my ring and I don't like to be without it. But if, so if he knows a ring's missing, he's in there getting the diamond, prongs all yeah. fixed. So he made me take, him and Nicole went Christmas shopping that day. I stayed back. Yeah, he goes, okay, so uh, Jenny, take off your ring. And the she lost it like during Thanksgiving and I teased her that it was in the meatballs or something because she's sitting there smashing meatballs and she lost a diamond. Anyways, so we get in there and dad was asked like, okay, we, we want to get this diamond fixed and can you tighten all the prongs? And there was like how many, 12 or 16 prongs I don't that know, were I loose. There, so I can't it remember. was crazy. And so they were doing that. They said that. that I was close to losing the big one in the middle, right? Is that what they yeah, said? Yeah. And that's really scary. They also said though, this is a, my mom never takes her ring ring off even when she's washing dishes, so that they think that that could be why. Because um, any chlorine in the water, I guess like town water would have chlorine in it. 
that will cause it to go at your ring because they said looking at it, they're like, does she sit in a hot tub all the time? And I'm thinking that's my mom's worst nightmare. <laughs> yeah, no. So I was like trying to think why, where it would be water all the time. I was like, well, she washes dishes every single day. It's like the first thing she does in the morning. And, um, and she, I always, when I use the hottest water, I said like, she refuses to use her dishwasher. I don't freaking know, but they said that it's t- her ring has taken a huge beating and the middle is about to fall out. And sometimes it like eats away at the diamonds from the inside. So you can't fix it sometimes. So you really need to take it off. I know, and I have. The only time I take my ring off is literally when I'm making like homemade bread or something sticky like that, so that the dough doesn't get Mm -hmm. in it. But literally, besides that, I forget. So then I was just browsing, you know, and Dad was picking out, picked out a cute little locket for Mom, and I was like, "Oh, this is like a really, you know, Pandora has some cool rings sometimes, and I always like to wear two rings at least at a time." And um. So there was this cool green ring and I and I just put it up at the register and I was like, okay, I'm going to get this. But I still was looking in case I found something else for my... I found a little ring I wanted to get mom, but dad talked me out of it. He goes, she ain't ever going to wear that. <laughs> but it was really cute. And so then um, I went to go pay for my ring and then my dad had already bought it and he was like... Um, well, I just wanted to get you something. He kept buying. He bought me other stuff. He just buys me stuff. And he's like, I, well, I want to get you something for Christmas. So I'm like, Daddy, you already got me something for Christmas. And anyways, he goes, okay, let's play a prank. You open it on Christmas Day. And then you, like, say thank you so much, Victor. Like, just assume it's from him. I'm like, okay. So then on Christmas Day, I opened it and was like, oh. <gasps> Victor, how'd you know that I wanted this ring? And he got all serious because it wasn't me. I'm like, you're such a jokester. Like, I know. He's it's like, you. no, I'm serious. That's and not I said, for me. Oh, Jesse. And then Jesse's like, she ain't for me. And then, and then it was just kind of funny because they were like, what the hell? But me and Dad love to pl- pull pranks like that. We love to wrap stuff and put other people's name on it. Victor did it to you one year, Mom. An ornament of just you, dad, and him. Remember? Yeah. But now it's funny because now it's... I changed. It. Yeah, because it, it was just it was an ornament, and it, he got it made, and it said because um, he must have saw our other ones from. It was like when he first got yeah. in the family, mm-hmm. and all the other ornaments. He went to Bronner's. Said um, like all of our family, Dave, Jenny, Nicole, Jesse, like on all these, all these painted ornaments or whatever. So he got one that just said Dave, Jenny, and Victor, but the Victor part was littler than the other thing. So now that's Arrow, you know, I changed yeah, Victor, it. Victor was like, it was a kid. It was two parents and one kid. And so then anyways, on that one, I actually put, um, I after the Victor, I took a little marker and put the fourth. So now it's like, so that's now hilarious. it's like me, Dave, and Arrow. So it, it is funny. So I'm like, oh, this came to... This came to light, but I was just laughing when he I gave have, it to us. I have pranks ready for for the future about wrapping gifts and then <laughs> just letting people. How funny is it, though? You wrap something really ridiculous, and then you're at like a party, and then you put someone else's name on it, and they're just like, thank you. I cannot wait to do that to my well, brother. I saw, I saw, and I can't wait to do the one where I saw it, two different versions of it, but I saw that TikTok where... Everybody plays that game or else they draw names for the brothers and sisters and they go into the grandma's house, like their mother's house that they don't live in anymore. Mm. And they sneak something from there that she just like random stuff that some of it that she sits right on her counter. And so I'm like, and by the second thing, the grandma's always freaking or grandma mom is always freaking out. She's like, that. That's mine. Like they have like distinguished things and it's just so funny. Like she doesn't even know what's ever going on. We should do that to your mom for sure. Oh, it would be hilarious. I wonder how we'd I wonder how long before she'd realize we'd have to. We'd have to try real and you have to try like everyone's job, you have to try really hard to kind of disguise it. So if it's a mug, you can put like hot cocoa in it and then like the pretty paper around it. You know what I mean? You can't just have like a plain mug. She'll know on the first one. Yeah, it's just funny. I watch so many of them and it's just their faces like they're just thinking at first, like, oh, like I already have this, you know. Mm-hmm. One of them was they gave all the presents to her. So then she's opening her own stuff and she's like yeah, saying she's thank you, you know. And then they'd have one that like it was she opened two and the second one she was really like looking at because she's like she's like this is this isn't my, where'd this come from? Like then the third present they have, they give her one then that wasn't her. So a totally different thing. So then mm. the next one, and she's like, okay, what's going on? She's like, I was looking for this and where did you get it from? And That's I funny. just think, 
I thought that would be really funny. If I just, I really want to do that to my mom because she'd be very funny with that. And she has so much random little Nick stuff in nicks. her house. I want to take a minute to talk about Green Chef. So we got some Green Chef meals to kick off the new year and they are fantastic. There's so many pros to going with Green Chef. So there's variety and customization, which is Really, really great. So you can switch all of your meat to be USDA certified organic, whether that be beef or chicken. You can do wild caught salmon. Um, You can do vegan. You can do keto. You can do vegetarian. Um, There's options for every lifestyle as well. So, I mean, as the only keto meal kit, Green Chef makes sticking to carb conscious lifestyle easy. So they're the only ones that offer keto, which is really cool. Um, But like I said, you could do paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten free. It's super convenient. So you get these meals delivered right to your door. They come in um, like the little bags, the little paper bags. So everything that you need for that meal is in the bag, which I love. And then the meat comes on the side and it's super, they keep it super cold for you, but they make it like pre it's pre-measured sauces and dressings and spices. And it just helps keep everything. You use everything. So there's no, I don't like having like an empty sauce container in the fridge. It's so nice. And then if you do, I do the one that's four servings. And so then uh, Victor will take it for lunch the next day. So that's perfect for us. And they're very sustainable, which that's so, so great. So they feature organic produce and premium proteins, sustainably sourced ingredients. Um, you can raise your food standards in 2023 and by going with Green Chef. So our, my personal experience with it has been so great. Victor's favorite, I would say, was like the Beef tacos, it was something, I can't remember exactly what it was. Um, I like the chicken chili, so that's, I don't know, I'm excited to keep trying um, different meals, and I think this is going to help me get back into my vegetarian and pescatarian lifestyle that I was in before I had a baby. So Green Chef will help me take, (laughs) help me come out with creative meals instead of me just kind of trying to figure it out by myself. So anyways, if you go to greenchef.com slash coco60, you can use code coco60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com slash coco60 and use code coco60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. You should, okay, tell them about the game that we play at Franzel's every year. We didn't oh, talk yeah. about that. Yeah, we, we, we ended up actually going to, it was a last minute, um, Christmas Day, I thought we were just having just our, you know, just going to be with us. But about a week before, they decided to have the big, we haven't had in a few years, the big family Franzel Christmas. And there's a big family and all the cousins and whatever. So they then they messaged and they're like, um, we're going to do that. The, they said dinner. The white at, elephant when she called and dinner's it. Dinner's at one, and we're gonna do the white elephant. Yeah, dinner's at one. White elephant. Bring your good sweet potatoes. So they always want me to make sweet potatoes. So that's just the thing I have to make. And I'll tell you the reason I don't want to make sweet potatoes and take them there. But I made the sweet potatoes. Then I made like I did. I bought a ton of cookies that I had made from a lady local here, and I made cookies and made a really big cookie tray too because I always like to take a dessert. And we have you know. All of us, we and plus we had Victor's parents too, so we had an extra big group. So I took quite a bit over there and some wine. And anyways, so dinner's at one, and and then this present. So we had a huge breakfast that morning, like all together. Yeah. We actually we started laughing. Nicole made a comment. She said, "Not too many cooks in the kitchen. We worked so well." I some, said there was so many cooks in the kitchen, but it didn't feel like it. There no, was, that's felt, what I'm saying. It was like flawless. that saying was yeah. like, yeah. So everybody did their own thing, and we had a huge. So we were stuffed. So going there to eat this, we didn't eat till nine thirty ten. So we were mm-hmm. fine with. We, you know, we were ready, but showed up about a few minutes before one o'clock and the food looked like I looked, there was two people eating. Everybody had already eaten. And this, it's so annoying. It I'm happens sorry, every but time we go there, does it not? You say dinners at a certain time. You ask my mom to bring this huge dish. Everybody's devoured the food and there's no food left. Like you guys are lucky I wasn't hungry. <laughs> yeah, it was, it happens all the time. And they, and I was, usually they say eat at 12. So 
like I was surprised when it was one o'clock, but I think they really did eat at twelve o'clock. I think they ate at eleven. And yeah, there were the two people that got there just before us were the only two I saw eating anything. And literally, like I felt bad because they were in the kitchen trying to make some more potato mashed potatoes, and so I had this huge, huge thing of sweet potatoes. I'm like, okay, that's why I like to take desserts and or appetizers, like so that. We can eat. Oh, we took a big meat and cheese tray too. So at least there was if that. If you have to people snack bringing food, though, then you should not eat until the time you say. Yeah, that's yeah. all I'm going to say. Then, then but it it's a lot of my year. dad's brothers who aren't married. I feel like a lot of them, and they go and they an hour just, early because they, they don't super have early, and then I don't think they bring anything, and so they just like eat. You know what I mean? Well, I think that happens. I think they literally like yeah, they're. They just show up if it's at 12, they show up at 11 and they're just pound, rate pacing <laughs> by the food until it gets put out and then they eat. I don't know because even when they say eat at 12, we get there at 12 and they've, yeah, all, they've they're all, all done eaten. eating. I think it's probably, been a thing for 20 some years. That's why it's just frustrating. So thank good thing we were not hungry. Um, yeah, imagine I, I if we up, there were. was a couple little, a couple things, you know, left, but the majority of the food was, you know, gone. It was gone, just odds so. and ends. And even the desserts were already. The first thing I did was I, okay. Cause I'm always hungry and I knew I was going to start eating healthy. So I go up there, I see what they got and I go around and whisper in all my family's ear and I say, if you want food, you better go get it. Cause there's nothing left. They always make these stuffed cabbages and there was some of those. Yeah, there so, was. Those so were I, good. I, me and Dave shared one of those later on. Um, but Jesse said he went up there and there wasn't any. So he, Jesse didn't eat at all that day but um yeah even <sighs> the desserts that day were ransacked so they definitely ate way earlier there was only all the good thing all the desserts i brought were about they were pretty picked through weren't they oh yeah yeah and a couple more people got there right when we did that when they said you know dinners at one and chelsea and all them too and i don't know what I they just all th- ate i don't know i i just like so i grew up in, with my mom as my mom, obviously, and she's one that makes sure that if anything, there's too much food, and that can be kind of a problem sometimes. But there's places that we go repeatedly, and sometimes you're just like, you have to eat before you go. That's all I'm gonna say, right? Yeah, it, it and it's not, and it's like if I don't know, we're never like early to a place, I guess. So maybe it's our fault. But we we go well. Christmas Day was hard. I was happy that it was dinner at one, you yeah. know. And we got there right before one with <laughs> with my potatoes piping hot and <laughs> meat and cheese tray and the um, cookies and all the desserts or whatever. And um, we, you know, we got there. And did you just leave the rest of your potatoes there? Yeah, but I brought my container home. I scooped them out because Dave's mom, they love them. They, They're really they, good. Even with me putting them up, they were going back. They were pacing around the thing. They were. <laughs> There Mom, was not, there was not that much pacing. left. <laughs> we're all just like animals, well, like has, pacing around the center island, just like her, circling okay, she, okay, it. Okay, let me let me explain. No, it's that. true though. With some of Dad's brothers, it's just like they're like wolves, no, like let, <laughs> yeah, Dave or Nicole. Jeez, I'm gonna yell when I yell at my family. Does anybody else do that? You go through the whole name, Jesse, Dave, Nicole. Like I do it constantly. But she has a huge. She has a big house, and she has a huge, huge kitchen island. So everything is out there and so that they do they walk around the square a lot like that's where they they like what's it called what's it called when you hang out at at i know what you're talking about they just link it's not loitering that's not really loitering but that's where they like that's where they gather it's like standing up around the square the the butcher block cabinets but it's huge 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 yeah it's it's like as big as some people's probably whole kitchen it's that it's pretty big oh so you're telling me that when i casually walk through there that people are keeping tabs if i'm looking to snag snag something they visit there i'm saying that they i know but i'm saying are are you watching me when i walk around there trying to act like i'm not doing much but i'm grabbing another cookie uh, nicole when we do (laughs) when you try to go get food even if everybody ate is there not like seven people you got to walk around? You can't just walk around. Oh, yeah. A lot whole... of them elbows will be on there, like just but, talking. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like a, they gather there is what I'm saying. So it's yeah, like. Yeah, for sure. No, I So know. you literally have to like back up and go in round. It's so big. Go around to a different spot. Go in there. Go back around. Go they into a different spot. They didn't have their spot. homemade sweet corn this year, did they? Or was it just gone? I have no idea. They've there never not had it. They didn't, I, didn't, I bet it was just gone. <laughs> 
They didn't have any other meat there when I seen or I no potatoes that she made later, but then no stuffing. All that stuff was gone. So I think that they, I think that she just ate a lot. I think it was just all gone. Yeah. I don't, I have no idea. I don't know. And with it being mostly boys in the family without wives, I don't think Dave's sister gets a lot of help. I think she, no, I feel sorry she, for her. She makes she works a lot her- individually and she works so, so, so hard. So I think it's not. And then like I feel guilty. Like I should even bring more stuff because I feel bad because she she makes mm-hmm. so her and her husband make so much food. I mean, I just, it's everybody needs to bring something. That's what it is, mom. Yeah, it's and, not and her bring, at all. and bring enough for forty people because that's how many is there at least with the kids forty to fifty people. So you have yeah. To just bring, because I want to say this, just because you're bringing something and it only feeds four to six people. That is not good enough. No, you gotta okay. be able to, you have to be able to feed all the people. At least feed your family. All right. We're moving on now. <laughs> no, but it but anyways, we're talking about the game too. So they messaged white elephant game. So that was all mixed signals. And it was like, um they said when she I asked Dave's brother Mike, what are, what are we doing? Is it like a joke gift, real gift? And he said, real nice gifts, thirty dollars. So I was like, okay. So then I said, to, I texted Kim to verify. I said, because somebody told me that they're, it's joke gifts then. And I'm like, okay, I do not want to take, I have, we have yeah. six people taking gifts. I don't want them to be jokes if they're not supposed to be jokes. And I'm trying to tell my kids what to take. And so I messaged the one who was out and she says, no, nice gifts. And they're $50. Mom, slow down. You're talking too fast. Okay. So she texted the host of the party and said, no, $50 gifts and nice gifts. And we said, okay. So we all went shopping. So we got our stuff or whatever. And then they started saying, no, $30 $30 gifts. Well, Dave was talking and to him again and he goes, I think you're wrong about it because there was still somebody still had to buy their gift. Who did a gift? Victor or some, somebody was going to buy a gift card and they said a $50 gift card. They wanted to buy a gift card for it. And I said, well, yeah. And then Dave said, no, no, they, Mike said it's $30 or whatever. And, um, so then he called Kim again, who like I had already texted and it said 50 and she said 30 or 50. It don't matter. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> like, okay. That's a huge difference. But anyways, we just took all our $50 gifts and then, you could tell everybody got mixed messages because we got some. There, some people put joke gifts in there. Some people did the fifty dollars. Some people did the thirty dollars. So it was quite funny, actually. So next year, some people really made out. Let's just say that. So next year, I you know either and I don't care if you do a joke gift or even if you take something from your house. I just think that everybody needs to send a group text, send the women in the family more organized, like. Okay, we're not going to eat before this time. Make sure you're there. No the crock, food. no crock pots in the game gift. There's always a crock pot that I feel bad. Richard always gets stuck with some damn crock pot. This, no, but there wasn't a crock pot this yes, year. Yes, there was. Richard got the. Um, he got a blender, the, but I'm talking. He always gets every year. I'm like wondering, does he bring the crock pot? Because he's always with the crock pot saying, I don't need a crock pot. And he's like the nicest one of my dad's brothers, I think. And he's just like, oh, he just wants lotto tickets. That's all he yeah, wants. That's what he wants. Is lotto. <laughs> There's a lot of, lotto. like, I'm telling you, this family's huge. And we had so many people in the game. And we do like a dice th- thing where you pass it to the left, the right, open or whatever. Like, that's how the game works or whatever. And, um, yeah, he's always. I'm. A, we're always sitting we're always by him. I think we're, him. We're always sitting by him. It seems <laughs> like, and when he gets any kitchen thing, he's like, eh, like he like moans a little bit. It, it is kind of funny, actually. But but the crock pie has been has been in maybe ever it's since. Same, mm-hmm. Maybe it's. I didn't even notice I the crock pie because joking. The, with the us. table's so huge that I it, I never was holding a crock pie. I got a. Um, my aunt Kelly did a gag gift, and it was a. Cow calendar, cow yoga, cow yoga calendar. So it's which where I gotta find that. It's cows doing yoga. That's what I got. Yeah, that's. So, um, anyways, I think I got I, I got a fifty dollar Panera card. But oh, that's, that was my gift, right? Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I don't know what Jesse got Victor, a bottle Victor of alcohol. Victor got a scratch ticket that was. Thirty dollars in a bottle of wine, and he left the bottle of wine there, and he scratched a ticket, and it was a loss. So he, at least you ended. Was up that with his a, mom's? Yeah. So then you ended up with a cow. So you at least ended up with a cow yoga. He ended up with well, nothing. Well, then the bottle of wine was ours. Yeah, and he <laughs> left it there. 
Oh, he, he said, left it there? Yeah, he said we don't need no That's more wine. True. So he just left it for the family. Or yeah, whatever. that makes sense. But it was kind of funny. So it, anyways, do you guys do those games and how do they go? And do you do the jokes? I really would like to... I don't think we could do it with Dave's family because they wouldn't understand that. And a lot of them are single men. But with my family next year, if we do get a get together, I would like to do something out of your house that you do not want anymore. Oh, geez. That would be kind of fun. Barbie's going to bring the silliest things I already know. Well, that's okay. Anybody can bring anything silly because it's something you don't want. So you don't care what you end up with. Oh, gosh. It's all going to... I know what I'm going to bring. My sister does do some random things. The one year she, when we had the dinner, she baked a cake. So it was just a cake. And she said you had to dig in it when you got the cake. I ended up with that cake and you had to dig in it to find it. And she had, it was, then there was $20 gifts then and she had $20 and quarters baked inside the cake. And I had That's the messiest. That's what I'm telling you. She's a nut. <laughs> I had to dig and wash $20 worth of quarters that were yeah, baked in a cake. That must have been like in my brain because I don't, now I remember that because you said it. But I swear she's done some random things that are kind of like funny, but at the same time, like. Somebody brought Davey. He always brings every, for like oh years, he brought gosh. an easy bake oven. Oh, and did it was he in, really? And it was in serious gifts. Like we're supposed to have serious gifts for adults. And he was that his, a, was that Kyle too? Yeah. Remember that disgusting fart smelling candle? Yes. He brought a candle that literally smelled like farts, and someone got stuck with that. He was like a gay. And he fart said he candle. farted in the jar, yes. And it was like, yeah. <laughs> and you literally opened the top of that. Somebody opened it in there, and the whole room smelled like it was fart in a jar. I don't even think, know if it was a candle, was it? The funniest thing is playing with your sister, Becky, because if she opens something she doesn't like, her face says it all. And she'll She's be like, like, I don't want I, this. She'll say, I don't want this. And like, say, so you bought it. Like, and it's like, just looking at it. But her. it's like, wait, you can. <laughs> you can't so sometimes in mom's family we used to play all the time it's the one where you open it and then someone would have to trade with you otherwise you're stuck with it and you could just see her face if she knew no one was going to trade with her and patty would be patty like bought like nice washcloths and she'd be like i don't want this and patty be like those are nice washcloths everyone's defending their gifts like <laughs> and, and, and then she'll be like and you can steal on your thing so she'll literally each time hold it up and say do you want what i got <laughs> like, yeah. like hilariously and nicole you actually when you get something you don't want i can tell on your face too you don't say nothing no i know i probably like, snub my nose you're always just like oh gosh like you're <laughs> funny about it like there yes, was some, there was sometimes some, i'm thinking what well, are there were some thinking? really good gifts i wanted to get there there was some good things that i wanted to get in that at the franzo one. one yeah there definitely was but that one we didn't even have an opportunity to trade for what we wanted it was all about the dice yeah so we can do something different well it's just fun i want to hear other people's ideas of how they do things it is just for fun and it's for laughs afterwards and you know you don't really care i'd actually rather get stuck with something i can bring home than a losing lotto ticket there but um it's long okay if it's fun to play too like that's what's the good part about it but then also you don't want to bring home something that you're not going to use but at the same time I do that all the time on my by myself I'll go buy something and then I let it sit in my cupboard anyway yeah. so I mean that's fine it's just like it's got to be fun and I think it's got to be fair so I always buy something I want that I know I want that, that that's how I am I literally buy something that I really really want and hope that I can end up with what I bought, which I, never happens. But, um, it's, and that's what I do with Dave's gift too. I have him buy something that he really wants. Cause you know, I figure if we at least want it, maybe somebody else will want it. I don't just go buy something random that's on sale or that's that, what people do. And that's what stinks is cause it's kind of like, Oh, you know, I buy it's something. that black Friday, $20 crock pot that everybody buys. But I mean, everyone, mom will always say, everyone needs a crock no, pot. No, I have like 12 right now. I do not. I have a, my campers loaded for bear with crock pots. My house is, I think I have extra ones at both of their guy, these two houses and my shed upstairs has crock pots. I definitely don't need any crock pots. I got the ones that are three, the ones you can have Okay, six. so let, let's just say like, let's say that I brought like a funny dinner, like a funny butter dish or something that was in the shape of something silly. Okay. And then I came home with, with the cow yoga calendar. That'd be cool, right? Because it's like, okay, I brought something silly. I got something silly. Not I brought a $50 gift card. You know what I mean? So as long as it's fair, I feel like it's fine. But I mean, I like the calendar and it was totally like whatever. I just think that it just needs to be set across the board on what better communication in that family. You know, not 30 or 50 That's and you, a got, huge you got some $1 scratch tickets. Oh, yes, it, right? I did. Yeah, you yeah, did get some. I did. 
Yeah. No, but you know what I mean, though. Just so that way it's just a little more even is all I'm saying. Well, no, it was just, it's just like the unpreparedness or the whole lack of communication with like family dinners. That's what. Because like, I would have fun bringing a gay gift. I would have rather done that. I would love to be able to laugh when well, someone I, opens I just, up my present. You know what I mean? That would have been really fun. And maybe fun it for doesn't me. know. Like, I need to speak up next year when I do. I'm going to send like a newsletter, or, like a, email, a text or whatever. Probably text with all them and say, "Yeah, it really bothers us that bothers me that you guys have me bring a main food, and you guys have all eaten before we got there. Like, it it really bothers me. I think we should all get. We like when we have our family dinners. We all get together. We pray and we all eat together. We wait. If somebody's yeah, late, mom waits. if if somebody's late, I wait unless they're like say. Okay, don't wait for me. We have another dinner before mm-hmm. this. But I like communicate with everybody. And I mean, say somebody's running 20 minutes or a half hour late, I kind of like actually like put the food on re- low and mm-hmm. I wait. I just. Yeah, you should do that. And then I was thinking too, real quick, we have Victor's work party coming up. And we went like the first time, like what, years ago. And we all brought like a gift. And I, it, there was a, it was a gag thing and I didn't know. And so I brought like a good gift and I ended up with like your ASS on fire hot sauce or something like that. And I was just like, so this year, Vic, I'm like, we're getting something really silly and stupid, but at least I know that. Well, you better, did you ask again? Now watch, you'll take a gag gift and there'll be real gifts. Well, I'm not going to claim it. I'm not going to even tell them because you don't even got to say who's, who's. Well, they can see what wrapping paper (sighs) you walk in with. That's true. Yeah. I better ask. I would just re. Re-convene. One was a plunger last time. It was like a plunger. Well, then it probably is all gay gifts if they do it that way. But I was not expecting that, and I was like almost embarrassed. I didn't have a gay gift, so I think that yeah, just the communication. It's as long it's fun. It's just the communication of everyone kind of expecting or being on the same page is is all I ask for. You know? Yeah, yeah. I okay. like so. Anyways, we I with the, was thinking ahead and I had all kinds of meals planned and I, we came back here afterwards and finished opening. I, I gave my gifts because I hadn't given them to them earlier to all the kids and to Arrow and we made a bunch of homemade pizzas and played games. So yeah, it was good. we had homemade pizza and some appetizers and we we were fine. We chow down. <laughs> no. Jesse and Ashley were in that fridge within two minutes though because guess guess you ate a bunch of pigs in the blanket. I told you guys grab them while they're hot. You did. I did and. Them, they were just all. They came home the, and they finished up all the breakfast food, didn't and, they? Yeah, and then and then they were mixing. Oh, cheese and cra- cream I came in cheese and- dip with hummus, and they're just making this concoction. I'm like, okay, we're yeah. watching the Grinch. That was kind of nice, and we're they just came chilling. Home, everybody came home pretty, pretty hungry just because of the way it worked. And um, New Year's Eve for New Year's Eve. Um, we actually, what did we do? We, we went to in, a benefit dinner. Oh, we went to a benefit dinner. Yeah, there was. Um, there is a 19-month-old girl who has, I th- believe it's, uh, I read the brochure, I believe it's some type of cancer, correct? Yeah. yeah so we went to the benefit for her, and um, it was it was awesome. It was such a great event. Like, that is such a great idea, whoever came up with that and put that on. And it, the food was 10 out of 10. Oh, the food was so good. And in the atmosphere and everything, amazing, amazing, amazing. And I say, like, they should do that every year for whoever needs it in the area. Like, always oh, have that, that event. Oh, that Ubley Heights? Yeah. yeah they should. Because it was, it was, and you, you had two meal choices, and it was different prices for which one. But um, I picked the perch. You picked the perch too, right? Kill me. And the other one was Best the perch ever. Prime, rib. prime rib. And yeah. the perch was, yeah, they were huge perch, like it's so good. Like water bottle size length. And um, yeah, and then perch potatoes, dessert, vegetables, salads. Sal- yeah, there was it was so so the food was delicious. The the gifts they collected for it were, I mean, like the the people, the gift mm-hmm. baskets and the prizes. They were so good. They had gun raffles going off every. I think they made a lot of money, which I'm. I, I hope, hope so because so. they they weren't there. The mom and because she has to keep her daughter, you know, in away the from hospital, people. I think still. I think she was home that weekend, oh, but then she went I back in after that. Something she did go back in on okay. Monday, but. Um, yeah. I think she was home, but her immune system is so weakened, and right. I think they have to stay away too because right. they can't weaken theirs and get her sick. And there was a band and stuff. I didn't stay long enough for the band. Did you stay long enough for the band? No. And that the reason I didn't, I up. had that horrible headache setting in, and so I kind of got and it. What I had it all day, and I had it for two days after, and I still don't know what it was, but that's when it was like starting to really set in. But 
It was awesome. And, and it was they fun. They had a live auction. That we, they were just doing the live auction oh, when yeah. we left. They had live a live auction. auction, too. It was nice to see people and talk to them like, that I haven't seen And they in did a while. drink tickets. And mm-hmm. then um, with the tickets, you could get certain things. And if you wanted to upgrade, you added a dollar or $2 was the most, like, mm-hmm. for, like, top shelf. But it was actually, it was so organized. It I'm was so actually a super, went. and the food was amazing. And, you know, and I'm praying mm-hmm. for that little girl. I know mm-hmm. she... And I read it this morning because I, I read all the updates and I follow the page. And I know she goes under anesthesia this week for something um, to check. They're checking something. So they said she need she needs extra prayers right now. And yeah, and and um, yeah, maybe next time. Well, I'll like have it everything prepared to maybe do a little like update. But I do. They're from a local town, so I'm friends with her mom on Facebook. So. I like being able to see updates and stuff for all that, and we can share that stuff with you, because I'm sure she also probably did, like, a post of, like, they raised so much and stuff. I think that that's just, like, really good idea. If if best timing, everyone's got to pretty much There were so many people there. Like, yeah. it was very, very... And I didn't even hear about it until, actually, here, I live in Ubley, and Nicole lives in Ubley, and I did not even see it on anything, and actually, mm-hmm. Jesse lives like in Deckerville and he actually, him and yeah. Ashley has said, can we go there for dinner? And we're like, yeah, that sounds good. And Oh, and um, Mariah and Brian came up and they went there and then we came back home and played games and like my mom's sister Tiffany and her kids came over and we had a lot of fun. Uh, oh, I scared, I got to post that. I scared Mariah with a mask. I got to post on Instagram, I post it on TikTok. But that was fun. But mom learned some new games and what else? I got to wear my rinse week. I wore a dress to the dinner and then when I came back, I put my pajamas on and got comfortable. I mean, yeah, we had a good time. And that's, I don't ever stay up till midnight, let alone two in the morning. And I stayed up till two in the morning. So that was, I was really, really tired the next day because that the was next, not. You're tired the next two days, Jennifer Lynn. Yeah, because I do not stay up that I went. Late. I went to bed at what time? You went to bed before midnight. because I. Oh, told, way before midnight. I sent Victor up at at midnight to tell you happy. Oh, you're the one that sent him up? He probably would have came on his own. Now I don't know if he would have came on his he own. Pro- I was, was just thinking, oh, what a good husband. He like came and woke me up at midnight and gave me a kiss. At, he was I, staring at his phone like this, and then right when it hit midnight, just gave me a kiss and walked out. He, I don't know if he would have now. Well, it was like 10 to 12, and I was rounding up people, telling them like midnight's coming, because, um, and he was playing with the two boys. He was playing with the, he was playing oh. Nintendo or what are the, not Nintendo, Expo. I don't know what I they play. A gaming system. He was playing a gaming system with the two, with the 17 year olds. They were. Oh, and my friend Nicole and her husband, and she brought a board game that she designed. That was fun. But and Arrow got. So I just said, Arrow it's almost bed, midnight. So. You know, it's almost midnight if you want to go see if Nicole's up. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to. So he was going to. Yeah, mom. He was gonna. Yeah, he was. We going will to. never know now. He would have. He, he would because he went up there first, then he came down and he told us all oh, Happy New Year after New Year's. So I trust that he definitely was. I just was walking around telling everybody, "We got ten minutes. We got ten minutes." You know, mm-hmm. and I was wondering, is Nicole going to come down, or is she? Sleeping? Mom, I was conged out. I had such a headache, I couldn't even turn the TV on. She, I was scared that I had like a brain bleed or. A tumor or something. I was like, I get, I'm a hypochondriac. And I was like, something's going on with me. Because I never get headaches. And then Mariah, you know, she's like, Mariah's like, oh, you're fine. And I was like, oh, you don't know that. Anyways. Yeah, well, because she, I couldn't even tell unless she told me she had a headache. I couldn't even tell because she was laughing and having fun. But then she'd get quiet. And, but she said it was coming and going. Yeah. So now everybody it looks like everybody's pretty much got their decorations down and Christmas and the holidays are over and going and hopefully the winter isn't too long and we get spring. That's my But hope. are we going to get snow at least? Jeez Louise. I bought Arrow a snowsuit that's really cute and I want to go play in the snow and make a snowman. And there's no snow. It's just ugly and cold out. Well, we still have all of January, February, March. Sometimes there's snow in April. We still have a long time. I hope there's not snow in April. So what do we got coming and up? And thank fun? you for that. Um, sharing that puzzle keeper, I am going to order one of those. I put it on, I went and put it on my Amazon and put save for later. I don't want to order it until I actually, because I don't want to start a puzzle right now, even though I say I do, I don't have time for it right now. So I'm going to wait to order it because I know if I get that in my living room, I'm going to um, have to start a puzzle. So I don't want to do it yet. 
Well, you should if it's if it's going to bring you happiness. I don't know if it will. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I got too much other stuff to do. And what that's else? A, that's a, it's pretty good, mom. We can save everything else. I think. Well, I no, I was going to ask. Like this is funny. I want to know like what okay. shows, what shows you viewers like the ones that have children or grandchildren or just are around children that you you they watch. You know, not that Arrow watches a lot of TV, but. I think we talked about it before. He really likes Barney. So we, Barney's on a lot. Everyone and there's tells only me. two seasons on Netflix. I did just figure out that there's three seasons of it on Peacock. So that's good because we know these songs in our head. But I cannot believe, me and Nicole were talking about how well Barney was made. Yeah, and I mean, if it is. somebody t- like like the it's very diverse cast. Um, they go to all the different countries every single episode. You and learn, you about, learn manners, about their heritage. Your teeth and you you learn about yeah. Exercise. When, when you're brushing your teeth, shut the water off. You learn about environmental things. Everything's still sharing exercise like it's just weird that long ago how whoever made those yeah, did the so producer well. was very and like the other thing is we don't like to turn on the cartoons that have like all the like the bright the like the different things and the I, actually, flashing I'm, lights and like the fast paced things because they say like it's you get addicted to well, the stimulation I can't, I can't even watch that stuff if it's on for five minutes so i did start watching disney movies with arrow and like you don't realize it, but there's a lot of scary parts in Disney movies, yeah. you know, like the, um, just the different, like today, me and him watch Snow White, like, like had it on in the background or whatever. And anytime the witch, witch came on, he ran and like hugged my knees, but he wanted to watch it. Like he literally I don't even to- know if I've ever watched Snow White front to start. I watched the whole thing today, but he, um, like with him in between and, but anyways, I, this is how I ask him. I say, do you want to watch Barney or do you want to watch RAR? Cause Disney's RAR. So then we go through, I let, I pick one, like the last time it was Lion King and I just show him till he like, he likes to shake his head yes and no. So when he shakes his head, yes, then I pick that one. And if I can tell right away, if he's even interested in, we don't just sit and watch it. It'll be like just in the background while we're playing or... But and, he says roar, right? Yeah, it's so cute though. Do you want to watch Barney or roar? And like if he wants to watch Barney, he'll shake his head right away or he'll say no and I'll say roar and he'll say yes. And then, um, but whenever something in the movies comes on where he doesn't, like he thinks it's scary, that's what he says. He comes up and grabs my knee and he says roar. <laughs> it's so cute. But anyway, He's some of so those, sweet. I just can't believe like I was going to watch one today and I'm like... I knew you wouldn't approve of it when you came home. I was going to turn on the Fox and the Hound. Oh, and gosh, And I was like, no. oh, Nicole, if Nicole comes, she wasn't here. I'm like, if she comes and sees that one, she won't like me watching that one. So I was trying to, but each one has their own parts. You know, they're villains. All Disney movies have villains, right? I know Beauty and the Beast, though, when they throw, throw the dad into the snow, I remember as a child, I would cry over that. Because that was it's really sad. No, there is. That's what I'm saying. There's every one now. Like, I didn't pay that as much. I pay more attention as a grandma now watching these movies and like yeah what the heck were you doing then, when you're supposed to be my mother i just thought do you, do you know that on when the movies year, were great I'm, I'm gonna throw mom under the bus right now it was turning 2000 she left me with her sister becky to just eat pizzas and the world was potentially going to end and she decided to go to the bar that night no we went to ugly heights there was a something there on new year's eve well, anyways, I still remember that. I can't believe you thought the world might end. No, I really didn't think the world was... I thought computer glitches and all that stuff, not like the world was going to Well, explode. Becky had me sitting there, and she's like, the world might end tonight. She was like 15, and she... And, and you she know, remember the couch? dramatic. Remember the couch? You pulled on the cushion, and it turns into a table. Yeah. That's what we did. And then she made me... We ate like seriously seven pizzas, and she's the world might end tonight, Nicole. Let's just keep eating these pizzas. And how old were you in 2000? They were from Farmer Jack's and they had a purple box. You were only eight years old. I remember it. And she's and Jesse would have been six. And she's what yeah. was Jesse doing? Sleeping? Your mom left you in the world might end. And my sister would say that because she is so dramatic. <laughs> and she oh my gosh. Oh man. Anyways. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. We'll talk to you guys next week. Bye. Bye.